Hi, Nikki. Listen, Nikki, they don't, I told them you love me. You know, I told them you love me. They didn't believe me, but now I'm here. Mm -hmm. let, let me address one thing. Oh, before Smack kill me, listen, I'm from Queens, Rochdale. I went out there when you was doing the turkey drive. I gave you a space. Your mom was there, but I was there, me and my boy Najee. Listen, I'm not, don't kill me, y'all. I'm not one of the barbs that know every single lyric, but it's more of your grind, the way that you speak up, the way that you know what's right, and you fight you fight for it no matter what nobody say. So mm -hmm. that's relational to me, like, oh, I'm shaking. Why the fuck am I shaking? <laughs> Sorry. That but Nuno, can I say something before I forget from what you just said? And I'm glad you said that, Mama, because I would have forgot. Um, there was a time when... Who was this for my son? Here she go. Y'all don't get. Um, there was a time, Mama, that I didn't speak up at all. I would just think you're not supposed to speak up. Right. And if anybody studies studies the history, they will know that because I didn't speak up for a long time, people ran with a bunch of crazy ass, untruthful lies about me yeah so when they see me speaking up now they be like oh why she asked me because i went years without defending myself until this day people still believe some of those lies you see if a lie is told to five thousand people one day and then the next day you go up you go in that same spot Mm -hmm. or on that same TV channel, on that same radio station, and clear it up. All of them 5,000 people ain't going to necessarily be there to hear the truth. Yeah, they don't care. But, no, I'm saying even if they're there, even if, like, even if they would have cared, right? Like, if all of them came, if, if I went and said, hey, I'm standing on the same corner, and I'm going to let everybody know that what was said about me yesterday was false, everybody that was there yesterday may not come back today. Mm -hmm. So they might still believe that lie. Yeah. Right. So imagine if you let a lie go for three years, five years. Once you tell the truth, you you might get to twenty five percent of those people, but some people still gonna run with the lie that they believed because you never spoke on it, you never cleared it up. So I wanted to explain that to people when they when they ask now why does she speak on things? It's because, like yo, yesterday. Out of nowhere, no, no. I don't know how I, I fumbled upon this TikTok video of Fendi. Fendi, who was in my life a long time ago, where I, you know, who put me on a come up DVD. Mm -hmm. And now he and I are cool with we back, you know, working together and stuff in some capacity. While I went on TikTok and while I saw this video of he had went on uh, the radio station. And was saying crazy ass shit about me. And one of the things he kept saying was, Nikki a groupie. Nikki a groupie. <laughs> and you got everybody in the radio station in that room eating it up and believing it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know he said that years ago. I know he said mad shit. And again, I had forgiven him and all that stuff. But I didn't even know he said that. So I, I never even cared to like address that, right? I, I didn't hear about it. But one thing I ain't never fucking been. Hold on. I don't speak. One thing I ain't never been is a is a groupie. Um, you understand? So it was a hurt. So oh, he good. Just man. imagine. Just imagine me and him wasn't on, you know, speaking terms at that time. He 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 felt, you know, angry or, or jealous that I wasn't working with him, whatever. And he went on the radio and told everybody Nikki's a groupie. Well, if if you know anything about me, I ain't never been a groupie ever in life. <laughs> but she, you know, he said it. And again, we are we are so past that. But I'm using it as an example that when people speak on you and you don't clear your name, that lie can go on for years and years and years. Right. Now imagine how many people that heard that lie still probably believe it to this day. Because I never addressed it. Because first of all, that was one of the lies I didn't even hear. A groupie? A groupie? I've never been that. I used to go around all the, you know, big male celebrities and rappers and stuff. Never fucked one of them. Never tried to suck somebody dick so I could get on in the industry. That's a groupie. Never for a feature. 
ne never had to suck and fuck for a feature. That's a groupie. So imagine he was saying that about me when really it was because he was mad that he used to do this thing where he would, um, hold on. He used to do this thing where he would just go missing for a couple weeks. Huh? Nah, that's Fendi in the comments. Oh, he in there? Mm hmm Good. Let me, oh, damn, I just, I'm going to put the comments back on. Fendi, I'm going to put the comments back on in a second. He used to go, he used to do this thing where he would go missing for weeks, Nunu, right? And um, he would let me just fend for myself. One of the ones that really did it was when I was about to put out my final mixtape, my last mixtape. I don't know. If, I guess it was being me and Scotty, one of them. And me and him had these plans to meet up that day and go and take the mixtapes to like, you know, the, the avenue. And you know, Queens. So we was going to take the, the, like, the mixtapes to like the avenue, all the African uh, store owners. Um, we was going to go around everywhere and just drop off the mixtape. Because that's how you released the mixtape back then. Right. He just never called me. Never responded to my text messages, never picked up the phone because he had gotten to a um he, he had gotten to that into a custom, a habit of doing that. When it whenever he didn't feel like being bothered with me, whenever he thought I was complaining, um, he just would go missing. And he didn't think I would ever like be like, Okay, you know what, I'm gonna continue this on without you or not. So he gambled that last time and he gambled wrong. But I, that was my first time hearing the story he told. And I said, whoa, I should have. I wish I was the type of person that used to listen. Because I'm pretty sure I probably saw the headlines everywhere. I just didn't click on it. And because of that, I didn't know he said that. And I didn't respond to it. At that moment when he said it, I should have responded to that. I should have cleared that up, you know. But instead, I let it ride. So that's the reason why I be speaking up, you know. Not about being mad. If anybody that knows me or that have known me for a long time, whenever they come around me, They'll tell you, oh, you you be in like a, a, a such a different space, a peaceful space. I'll be happy as fuck. And one of the things that's making me happy as fuck is where I am musically, like creatively. I'm doing what I love, what I love, and I'm having fun with it. And when I every time I see my son's face, I'll be happy. So the things that people be thinking that I'm mad about, just because a woman is speaking on something, it doesn't make her mad about it. She's a human being, and she's allowed to speak on what happens at her workplace exactly i just feel like and then you're from new york so you just the way that you talk i feel like you've been working hard to stay at a certain tone like i'm confused how the girls got confused <laughs> I, uh, I just and i just i'm glad to add just you know not to say no names because that's too much you know what i'm saying but there was one thing that i wanted to address that really bothered me because that's not you like what, what we see from you people coming from queens is always giving back things like that so and it don't matter black white age none of that matters so when when someone makes a comment and say well i just don't like when you know Nicki minaj uses the argument of calling someone a karen hold up we're not going to do that simply because she was called the the said person was called Karen or a, or a person that is mixed is called a Karen when they lean more into their whiteness to benefit them when they know that it's wrong. So that's why it's not oh I'm just trying to say this is a white girl getting what I deserve what she knows I deserve. It's no you leaning more into your whiteness. Let's admit that that's why you are a Karen. Don't try to don't try to make it seem like Nicki Minaj is bullying the white girls that wasn't that <laughs> oh my god okay i i'm definitely not gonna speak on that specifically but what i will say is and all the smart people know being a karen is doing something like what's happening now you know you know it's wrong and you being a karen is, is more about being a uh, manipulative and being passive aggressive mm -hmm. and um knowing that being a fed the, right thank you but look this is a, an example it's a great example if you think about it and white people and white women have used it for years and that's why the, the term was created if a white woman living in a white neighborhood sees a black man and this goes back for years and years if that woman accuses that black man of doing something she knows that when that white police officer comes 
he going to arrest that black man because there's already a stereotype of the black man being all of these negative. So she can easily pretend to be innocent and sweet in front of the cop because she knows that that cop don't like that black man either. Mm -hmm. So she can, so she can come on that black man's property. She can curse, she can antagonize people. And then she can pretend that, you know, she's the sweetest person on the planet. That's what uh, being a Karen is about. And I'm not speaking about any specific person. Uh, that's what Karens do. We see it on the videos all the time. So if you knew you were lying on me, right? And then got me attacked while you played innocent then that's what a Karen means. Doesn't, I mean, goodness gracious, Papa Bear is two years old and he could understand that, the fuck? This, this case, so, well, say that again, Nana? I said, this is the educational moment because I didn't see how they didn't see that. Uh, like, are it's we not? okay. I don't care how they don't see it. I don't, like, no, no, that's not even, you know, my point at all today. My point was just that the, the Grammys had put out a variety article and they simply tried to gaslight our, our community, our culture, and my fans into thinking that, oh, look, what, look what all these nice things we're doing for Nikki. When they know that the issue at hand was the fact that why did you take super freaky girl out of the rap category with no explanation? And when you ask them who's responsible, they, said, uh, they say it's a secret committee. A secret committee. A secret committee that, and you know, we can't ask any questions. But instead of them dealing with that, Nunu, they just keep on spreading this article saying that, do we have a problem is in the rap category. But if I'm talking to you about Super Freaky Girl, why are you talking to me about, do we have a problem, right? That's the point. It's called gaslighting. And I'm not gonna say that word again because I'm tired of that word. And they so, have yet a caption from the word stunt. You ain't no stunt devil. Um, it is this they need they need to use words like stunt. I was telling I was saying before you got on black women or powerful women. Let me stop using black again like I said. Powerful women, please warn your daughters about words. They should be ready to hear for their for the rest of their lives if they are smart, powerful, beautiful, talented. There are certain words that will be used against them for the rest of their lives to minimize every time they speak the truth about injustice. Injustice? What is worth? And everybody knows this. I always speak up for people. If I think I see, if I see somebody being bullied, they don't even got nothing to do with me most of the time, I'll speak up. Because that's just me. I'm not scared of the internet. Do you understand? So... And by the way, I'm not saying I want anybody to stand up and speak for me. My, my fans do a great enough job. And even my fans don't have to. Like, I don't, my fans feel like they have to do that sometimes. You guys don't have to. I love you regardless. Um, I just want, it's time that the Grammys stop doing it or be honest. You know, at least, at least respond to me. Don't just start talking about a different song. Mm -hmm. Come on. That's crazy. So that's all I was saying, boo-boo. Listen, even even now they they gonna act like they don't understand what you're saying. Yeah. But what's so strange is everything that you're saying now, just like what was it, 2016 for the streams is working for them. So it just makes more sense that this is gonna work for you guys too, because it's gonna be another girl that's gonna go through the same issue. Thank you. And then it's gonna be like Nicki Minaj did say that, but but she was the mad black woman when she was saying. That. She's won many awards. She's rich already. Like, she can't. Listen, she's rich already. The grandkids, grandkids. But that's what they, I don't think they understand. I don't think they understand that I'm doing music now because I love music. I'm not doing music win awards. Like, come on, y'all can't be, y'all can't be serious. Y'all think that at this point, I right. don't know that I'm the greatest with or without a Grammy or any award. I know that, y'all. I was just pointing out a point that should have been made. The Weeknd pointed out points about the Grammys. Drake pointed out points by the Grammys. Refused to accept some of his, some, some awards when he felt like it wasn't fair. Everyone Jay did too. has done. 
Who? Jay did too when he had spoken for 50 not receiving awards when he was supposed to. And Jay is a Sagittarius. So shout out to Jay for that. Many people. And then, you know, they talk about all of these odd things. And ladies, teach your daughters that any time a woman brings up their age, that that's a compliment. That, make, that basically is the woman saying, damn, I can't talk about her looks. I can't talk about her talent. And I can't talk about anything that I would normally diss other women with, you know? So I have to go to this point. So I want you women to know, and I used to hear people saying that they got more at peace at a certain age and stuff like that. It's true. You feel happier. You feel better. You feel more in tune with yourself and all that good stuff. You, you feel, you know, less of a reason to um, explain. See, if I wasn't in this industry that requires so much of the social media stuff, mm -hmm. I would really be one of those girls that probably posts once every couple months. Like, hey, y'all, what up, bitch? Because I really don't, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's a lot. But, you know, but I love my fans. I love the, the relationship I have with my fans. So, you know, whatever. But I just wanted to make sure people knew that, you know, I'm, I just mentioned this because they mentioned it. They're having a blog posted again today. The article has been out for three days. Just admit, just, just acknowledge that you did something unfair. Notice how men, you know, Kanye can go and say all of the things he wants every day. But we don't talk about Kanye's age, right? Um, I remember at one point, um, Jay-Z, because he's the, just, you know, who he is in rap, he's had um, words with Wayne, he's had words with Fifth, he's had words with, for a tiny little second, uh, Drake. But, so does that mean he's bitter? And does that mean, you know, you understand, like, Legend. It's just, it's due. yeah, yeah. Uh, women love, you know, they'll work with men accused of all kinds of things, but then they'll use it as a weapon about a woman who's never been accused of anything of the sort, but you'll use it against a woman, but not against a man. There's all these double standards, um, but that's neither here nor there. I just want people to know, and to my fans especially, I love y'all so much for writing for me. I just want you to let you guys know that Mappa is very, is very happy working on things that I know are going to make you guys happy. But I have right. to say something when I see the blatant conspiracy going on behind the scenes. I got to speak on it. <laughs> you know, like, come on. I, I love that that song was six minutes. I was tired of the one minute songs that were kept dropping everywhere. A six minute song, the Super Freaky Girl. Super, oh, the um, the remix, wait. Six minutes? Oh, the Queen mix with all the girls? Yes. Yeah. Six minutes, I'm like, I didn't know that I can listen to a song for six minutes. <laughs> but it worked yeah. for a house party, like you could play it through, I, I really love that. So thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Queens girl. It's Nunu, y'all. Show her love. That's my baby. That kill me. I definitely want to just um don't cut this, y'all. Shout out to um URLTV.tv. Please get our app. It's the number one battle rap platform. Uh, we have an event coming up in Urban Plaza. Make sure that you guys get your tickets on Ticketmaster November 6th. And Nikki, we need you out of event. We need you out of event. We'll clear the stage, whatever we gotta do. We in Urban Plaza um, on November 6th. Um, we haven't been back into New York in a while. Murder Mook is on a card versus Geechee. Really? Yeah, he's uh, making his return back. So Ooh. Cool. that should be fun. That should be very interesting. Shout out to Murder Mook. Yeah, so um, I, yeah, I don't rap or anything. I do the commentating. I help find talent uh, for mm -hmm. the platform. And um, I did, uh, you know, work with Bob. I had your poster behind me, your Bob cover. It was there. That was my only thing. I need Nicki Minaj Bob cover behind me. So wow. I work with them. And I'm just trying to, you know, figure out how to bridge the gap between mainstream media and battle rap to, so we don't need to be asking for favors. So mm. a lot of people be just, oh, she rap, she rap. No, nope, don't rap. <laughs> right. 
Right. Okay. So that's what I do for them. And it's, it's just like you are a blessing to see somebody come from where I come from and do the things that you do. Like you didn't have it easy. And I feel like they always think because Queens girls, they're pretty. They, 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 you know, we know how to represent ourselves that we don't, we're not looked at as, we don't have to look like our struggle. Like, mm, right. Thank you. It's one o'clock and, you know, I had to put my wig hat on. But <laughs> we don't look like our struggle. So a lot of mm -hmm. times they try to discredit us for that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when Nicki Minaj speaks, she lets you know, hold on. I'm not going to, like, be a crutch of what I went through. Like, mm -hmm. I want to rap. Let's focus on the rap. Let's focus on the material. But then y'all act like, can't get like that. Then when she mm -hmm. get like that, everybody's thinking she's shaking the table when it's been in her. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm so proud. Like, I'm so proud. Like, I... I just love Nicki Minaj. You look pretty, and I like you with that curly hair. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Beauty by uh, She's from Queens as well. Um, yeah, I had to slip this on real quick. I didn't think you... <laughs> I didn't think you was going to add me. But I well, I added you. Okay, no, no. Exit off. Exit off of here because the last time I couldn't get back all my thing. Exit off. Let me see if there's one more person I can go live with really, really quickly. But I love you. All right. Take care. Um. Oh, good. Did it work, y'all? Okay. So... Let me see, cause now, all right. Um, hmm. Yeah. So, who should I add? Should I add one more person? Yes, so women out there don't stand for that nonsense. They want to do that. They want for you to feel crazy whenever you speak up about it, right? And it's not. Is that Fabi? Okay, y'all, who else should I add? And in the meantime, 